Greetings and salutations to you all my good chumps. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Anyway, last time on the show, Hafiz, Emir Hafiz came of age, he became his own man. Uh, but not a great man, not a particularly great man. He took after his dad quite a lot, he, uh, he is a cruel man. Uh, however, he is also paranoid and shy as well, so he's a little bit difficult of a man to get along with, to be honest with you. Uh, we are currently on a intrigue focus because we feel that's right for a paranoid, cruel man to be on. I mean, we could put him on a martial focus, but we can't kill people on a martial focus which is something a paranoid man would want to do i think so there's that uh, we also had to put down another war with the seljuks this time which is quite impressive uh we are quite uh surprised i would say that that we were able to put down the seljuks it ended in a white piece but they were after our little piece of land over here in mandesh which uh we had to stand up and fight for because the Abbasid Emperor, he can't. He is not strong enough anymore. He is a very, very weak man. He uh, he just seems to be getting dogpiled from all around him. He's currently in another war at the moment. Uh, he's lost two capitals in five years, something like that. Uh, and people are starting to come after us now, so we have to defend ourselves, which is... A little bit of a uh, annoyance, so to speak. But um, yeah, we, we put that down. It ended a white piece, which is good. We managed to, to hold on to our little realm. But uh, yeah, the sharks are circling. And it's getting harder and harder for us to protect and look after ourselves. So that's something we do need to be aware of, I'm afraid. Um what else happened we captured someone didn't we we caught the yeah uh jibril from esfahan he was plotting against us he had a very high threat he decided like a fool to go off and start exploring the world in disguise so nobody knows we have him we do need to do something with him because he was a threat to us we don't like threats, we are paranoid, we are going to do something about that. So, uh, he's currently in our oubliette, and um, yeah, let's just say that we uh, we might do some nasty things to him and keep him in the oubliette. His son is the heir here, he seems to like us a little bit, which is not too bad, so maybe it's time for a new ruler. Who knows? We are also trying to get rid of this man as well right now because he is also a threat to us right now. That's uh, that's something we cannot have. We're currently trying to kill him. It's not going to be very strong because the problem is is I don't have a spy master because paranoid person is not going to have a spy master around. In fact, we're waiting for all of our uh, council to disappear go missing somehow because a paranoid man doesn't want a council he doesn't want people around him he is a paranoid man hence why he is currently secluded himself in the court with no illness or sickness in the world whatsoever that is what we do here on in real life we play not optimally not min maxing we play as the man that we are currently playing as so uh what are we going to do today well we're going to continue to try and get rid of this guy because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have an heir. Yeah, his heir is us. And this piece of land, once upon a time, was ours. We lost it for some random reason. We want that realm back. So that's what we're looking to do today. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll get as good a chance as we did with this gentleman here. Speaking of Jabril, this gentleman here. Hello, my good friend. How are you? I am going to uh, hurt you now because I'm a cruel person. So uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna give you a little bit of a a, a poking. Sheikh Jibril was undressed, tied to a pole, and, and see again. We're taking him outside. That's not smart. Why are we doing that? This 
people don't know we have this guy right now. We shouldn't be taking him outside. We should be torturing him in the oubliette, preferably. Or even though there's not a lot of room. But we can pour stuff on him, I guess. Hot tar, fecal matter, things like that. Or just take him into the dungeon and torture him there. Why are we torturing him out in the open where everyone can see him? That's just stupid. But anyway, yeah. Uh, he's left out in the heat for a few days. Again, could have understood... Uh, escaped as well uh, while it seems like he suffered no permanent damage he had to be carried back inside you are sure he learned his lesson okay and he should be in the oubliette right he should be yeah he's in the oubliette right now so let's not bring him out of that again please because that's not something that we want to do but yeah other than that we're uh we're just gonna tick along we're just gonna see what happens with uh hafiz here and we're gonna hopefully hopefully get rid of some of this threat we do need to build up our forces again because they were depleted in that battle with the seljuks we got hammered a little bit because of that and we had to hire uh mercenaries which gave us a big hit to our money intake as well now this should tick over next month we should start making money again which is good because yeah, we, uh, we, we we don't want to go into debt again because I have a feeling we're probably going to be needing mercenaries quite a lot going forward in this run. After spending lots of time with a uh, few people, you have been positively surprised by Shefta. During this difficult time, you have gotten to know and understand her well. In many ways, she compliments you nicely and you have a good time together. I've gained a friend. That's quite unusual for a paranoid person. So, I, I don't like her as well at the moment, apparently, but that's going to change. Yeah, she is now my very good friend. Uh, 89 is a high enough opinion that, uh, yeah, we, uh, we are happy to deal with that. Because as a paranoid person, I, I say that the, the levels increase, obviously, exponentially. So, if 0 to 15 is meh, then 15 to 25 is, yeah, you're all right. 25 to 50 is, I like you. Anything above 50 and we're looking positive. I say all of those shift up one when you're paranoid. When you're paranoid, you need to move them all up. Someone needs to do something above and beyond in order for them to become uh, liked, trusted, anything like that. So, But now 89, that's high enough. That's fine. So I think what I'm going to do... Uh, I can't sway her, can I? No, because we're both in seclusion. Uh, she isn't married. Okay, that's good. She has another friend. The court poet of uh, Al-Bahrain. Uh, where are you? You're in my capital. Okay, so there is a potential matrimony there. Because this is probably the person I like the most in the entire world what are they like temperate diligent deceitful no my good man you have fallen for a deceitful person oh dude no she is gonna hurt you man this is why you should have stayed paranoid ah oh, she is wrathful lustful she has the lover's pox okay it's not good man it's not good. She's also 64. So, yeah, that's not much use to me. She can't have children, can she? She has one child. And that's it. Uh, okay, well, we have a friend at least. We have a friend. Which means I might be able to invite her to a plot. Because she is my friend now. I don't think she's going to be in here probably no no one no one wants to help no i think it's people in his court as well isn't it i don't think she's high enough to give us any any help with the plots so that is a shame but um well we have a friend that's interesting for a, a paranoid person anyway so i'm quite happy about that my spying on Sheikh Aram of Bahrain has revealed his complicity in a shadowy plot to fabricate a claim on the Emirate of Al-Bahrain. 
Uh, oh, the entire emirate. That's what I have. Okay. Knowledge is power. Oh, the plot is revealed and I will stop spying on him. Okay, let's reveal the plot. So the plot is now revealed. That means that I can now imprison him. I've gained the deceitful trait. Why am I deceitful? Why am I deceitful? I, I didn't deceive anyone. He he did make the plot. Okay. So I I've gained deceitful, so that does make a lot of decisions more relevant to me now but the most important thing he has now given me the chance to arrest him he has given me the rightful imprisonment to 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 arrest him now so i can do that i can then strip him of the title and that comes back into my realm i don't think we're going to do it because i've only got 24 percent to do this he's probably going to rise up but I should be able to put him back down again. What I might do is raise my troops first, actually. I think that if I raise... Yeah, I'm going to raise my troops first. Everyone should be coming to Katif. Yep, that's fine. So I've got my guys together. That way, if he rises up, I've already got my men from here. Plus, I have more people that I can put him down. So I'm going to bring all that together first before I try and arrest this guy. So let's get that done. What's going on here? A message invite to a plot. Uh, blessings upon your house. We would like you to back up a lot to see Caliph Aglab dead uh, i don't like you according to paranoia rules um i do like him according to paranoia rules so to be fair i should be able to tell him uh, i'm going to decline that uh because i don't want to join that plot because a i'm paranoid b i don't like her c i do like him so it would be nice if I could tell him that they're planning on killing her, but uh, killing him. But yeah, can't do that. Uh, a message about marriage. Uh, we propose that Sultan Shaban II of the Marabid Sultanate and Shara marry. Uh, I don't like her. I don't like you. Uh, but I'm happy to get rid of her from my court. That's fine. Yep, I'm okay with that. You go ahead. Go nuts. Enjoy your marriage. Right, just going to get these... Not having much luck spying on Sheik Aram. Perhaps I should focus efforts elsewhere. Um, yeah, I can do that now. I don't need to spy on him anymore. But what I want to start doing is trying to get rid of the people from my court. So I need to find the lowest. It is my marshal for sure. Okay, you. Uh, I'm going to start spying on you. Uh, because I want to try and find a way to get you out of the way as well. Um... Once I arrest this guy, I don't need to kill him anymore. But I'm going to keep trying to kill him. Anyway. I'm not going to give him the chance to end his plot. Because I want him to have that plot. So that I can arrest him. That way I get rid of this threat. I get this realm back. Everything is good. I remove more people that are out trying to get me. So that's fine. Uh, I and my trusted snoops uh, will keep a very close eye on the activities of Jalil. So he is my marshal. Yep, we're going to start spying on someone else. Uh, right, that guy died in my dungeons. Uh, what oubliette. So he's gone. That's a shame. I wanted to do more. Uh, you are now in charge. Wow, your opinion has plummeted of me. How comes? Did you find out right you found out i tortured him yeah why did we torture him in the daylight that's stupid why did we do that now everyone knows we should have just bloody tortured him in the poxy 
stupid. Why did we... Idiot. Right, well, now he doesn't like me as well. Fortunately, he can't do much at the moment. He doesn't like me either. He's the regent, so technically he's in charge at the moment, but also in this game, he's not. It's Regencies are weird. But yeah, we need to keep a close eye on that because he might become a threat as well. And yeah, we don't like threats. So yeah, just going to continue getting the forces together here and then we are going to try and arrest that guy. So just waiting for that to happen now. Uh, young Yakta, I don't care. I don't care. I don't know why I'm teaching these people. I do not want anything to do with them. So I don't know why I'm teaching these people because I have a court tutor. I don't know why it's letting me choose all of, for all of these kids. It's it's very odd. Uh, the Caliph lost again. So does that mean he's just lost more? I think he lost more land which means he's becoming even weaker uh yeah which means we are really struggling with uh with being able to protect ourselves which is not great uh because we kind of need him because the outsiders are starting to really push us back this realm here is growing quite big as well they're they're getting very large. They 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 just took land off of this guy, uh, not this guy. Uh, this guy wasn't it? Uh, oh, it's the same one, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have this land anymore. All this used to be his. Now he's just down here, which is good because this guy has my sword, the sword of Muhammad. So that is definitely something that we might want to look into at some point. But again, need to declare war on the. Uh, Seljuks not on them entirely which is I also want to try and get Kuwait back at some point as well but we can't do that either yeah lots that we need to do but uh, lots that we don't really have the troops for which is a bit frustrating okay just waiting for these 18 guys to come but they are going to be safe and out of the way now so you before you can have a male heir we are going to try and imprison you. This isn't going to work. I've only got 24%. My guards failed to capture Sheikh Aram, who has now raised his flag in rebellion. Yep, I knew that that was going to happen. There we go. So, you come into here. Where are you going? Are you going? You're going straight into Katif, aren't you? Okay, yeah. So, we should be able to beat him nice and easily. There shouldn't be too much trouble with that, hopefully. Uh, and then I'm going to be able to take that realm back, which is good. We're going to go in here. We should crush them nice and easily. Awesome. There we go. Uh, my lord, we have received news that Sheikh Aram of Bahrain has chosen to go into hiding in order to try to foil the plot against his life. Okay, so he's going into hiding. Now, does that mean that I can take... His title while he's in hiding or not? I can't remember. What I might do though is stop that for the moment. Maybe he'll come back and then I'll be able to do something about it. But if I take it off of him anyway, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to remove the title from him after he's gone into this rebellion anyway. Because he's raised his flag in rebellion. So once that's done, I'm pretty sure there's not much that can be done about him being in hiding or not or anything after that anyway. I'm fairly certain. But... We'll have to wait and see. We're just going to siege this down. Uh, we have a chance to assault. Uh, we could probably do that. Yeah, there's not that many guys there. That's fine. We're at 99% war score. We're just going to get this done. Assault that. 
100%. There we go. Right, you are enforcing demands. So we have him. He is now in my prison. He is done and dusted. You guys can all disband. And now he should be able... Should be able to revoke your title, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, because this was mine and you stole it from me. Uh, this will lower Sheikh Aram's opinion of uh, 60. I'm pretty sure his opinion is already very low. Uh, none of my vassals will object. He's already at minus 100, so no problem. And that is now back in our realm once again. It's back under our control. Let one day go by, and there we go. We finally have Bahrain back. So that's one, two of the two that we lost. We just need Esfahan back now, and that is all of our holdings that we had once again back in our control. Esfahan would be good as well because there is a lot of money in Esfahan and this kid is not paying me taxes at the moment because he hates me so much. Which I think is really bad. I think that that should give you a, a, a legit Cassis Bele because he's not paying me taxes. Now name a situation at any point throughout all of medieval history where someone turned around to their liege or their king or their ruler or whatever and said, no, I'm not going to pay you taxes because I don't like you. And the king just went, yeah, fair point. Yeah, I get that. I, 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 I understand. You don't like me, so therefore, you know, it makes sense that you wouldn't pay me tax. No. No, that would never happen. It would, uh, he would be off with his head in an instant. What do I want to do with this guy? I am cruel, paranoid, and deceitful. Uh, I also, I shouldn't have any threats now, should I? No, no threats whatsoever. Um, I'm probably going to have a threat as soon as this guy comes of age. He's probably going to give me a threat. He does have an heir as well. Which is a little bit frustrating, but... Because the problem is, is this, this fell out of my dynasty entirely. So, yeah, that's the problem. In order to get that back, I think that we need to invoke a... I'm going to revoke your title thing, but I can't just revoke it, revoke it from him. I mean, I could actually. It's only 15. That is a possibility. But anyway, yeah, this guy. What do we want to do with this guy? Hmm. See. Cruel but patient. Execute? I don't think we've ever actually executed anyone in this series, have we? I think that if we do that, that'll be the first. But maybe we would execute him because A, he was plotting against me. B, he rose up in rebellion against me which is treason. Both of those acts are treason, first and foremost. C, we're cruel and paranoid. So maybe that would be wise. Being patient would suggest that everyone knows that we've arrested this guy. If we torture him, that's going to be pretty bad. But if we execute him, which would still satiate bloodlust, but it would be legit. I wonder if I execute him, 
It will be viewed as tyrannical and will lower your vassal's opinion of you by 10. Okay. Okay, so people will get funny about that anyway. So we can't execute him with imp impunity? Impunity. That's the word I was looking for. How much is my plot power to kill him now? See, it should be high, but no. Still only 38, which is ridiculous because... Um, you would have thought, ah, oh, my friend will help me now. You only bring 4% no, so there's really no point. But my, nice to know that someone will help me kill someone now. That's a true friend. True friend will help you move house. Uh, no, a friend will help you move house. A true friend will help you move a body. Um, but it feels like it should be higher because, you know, he's in my prison. So, uh, I mean, if we humiliate him, His opinion changes. General opinion goes down by 25. So it's more... It's worse to humiliate him than to execute him. Okay, if I banish him... They're going to lose it as well. Again, worse than... See, executing him will go by, down by 10. But if I ask him kindly to leave, it goes down by 20. And if I make fun of him... It goes down by 25. Tell me how that makes sense. That's really weird. Uh, I'm not going to ransom him. Because I don't care about the money. I care more about the fact that this guy was out there trying to get me. And I'm paranoid. So that would be the worst thing. Mutilate. I lose piety. But I'm pretty sure no one else would know about that. It's just his opinion that goes down. If I throw in the oubliette, no one knows that as well. Hmm. But I'm guessing if I torture him, everyone will know, right? I mean, if I put him out in the bloody sun again, like, you know, keep bringing him out into the light, everyone, of course they're all going to know. I don't know why I keep bringing them out of the dungeons. Just torture them in the dungeon. I don't, I don't get why you think that that's a... Does he have... No, his heir is me. All of his things will go to me when he dies. Because he has two daughters. You're not pregnant, are you? No. Okay, so you're definitely not having a son because you're in my dungeon. So that is not happening now. I think I'm going to... I'm going to throw him in the oubliette. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep him in the dungeon for now. I'm going to let people forget about him a little bit. And then I'm going to start to hurt him a little bit, I think. Because, yeah, I, I think that that makes sense. Because I'm patient. I don't mind biding my time. But... I do need to do something with him because I'm cruel and paranoid. See, the fact that I'm shy as well would make you think that I would be asking other people to, to do all of this as well. So, but apparently not. But anyway, long the long and short of it is we have Bahrain back, which is not Bahrain, it's, it's Qatar. Um, but we have it back in our hands once again. Unaware of others hearing them, Parwin and Jalil have been sneaking around the premises to have intimate encounters. Few seem amused by their indiscretion. Um, all that does is annoy them. I could make them marry. I don't like her. I don't like him. He's the guy I'm trying to spy on. 
but I don't want them getting closer together because yeah why would I want them to get closer together because I, 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 I'm paranoid I wouldn't want to make them I could break them up which is the crueler thing to do which is kind of funny because you know <laughs> breaking up a couple but it also just annoy but that's that makes more sense than making them marry each other because I wouldn't want them to be close sneaking around yeah you know what cruel I'm gonna just break them up that makes more sense just just you two can't hang out anymore that makes way more sense I think my prisoner, Wali Aram of Mahwab, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Oh, so are you? Um, suitable, how about the oubliette? Yeah, I could uh, chuck him into the oubliette instead, or I could let him rot. I think one of those two. Uh, you're lucky I didn't put you in the oubliette in the first place, so... Yeah, you're going in there. Goodbye, my good sir. You are you are welcome to be in there. Um, okay, my grandmother died. I didn't really care about her that much, but I have inherited another city, which is fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was here, right? Yeah, Wali of Yanbu. Oh no, it's a castle. Okay, it's not a it's not a city. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but my holdings are getting wildly out of hand now but the, the thing is is like I said it's um it's a case of that my previous my family has not said that oh when we get land we need to give it away so that's not something that we know uh, I mean my dad was planning on giving it to me once I came of age but he died before I came of age so we don't know that so it's a case of having to keep it going anyway so yeah that's something we don't know about unfortunately so yeah we will just have to hold on to that i'm afraid according to grand vizier jabir the peasants of haliban have started a delightful tradition where the peasants reform several villages meet up and dance feast and pair for up for future marriage right okay um and cruel yeah, I, I. Yeah, I'm cruel. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to waste my own money on this. That's ridiculous. They can do whatever they want to do, but that's got nothing to do with me. I'm not going to spend my own money for these idiots. Uh, oh, he died. He died in my oubliette before I got to hurt him. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't get to hurt him. But he has died, which means I've inherited even more land. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I inherited the mosque uh, and other titles from this guy as well. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm getting a lot, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of titles right now. Um, getting out of hand a little bit, but say la vie, I'm afraid. Uh, the rise of Shia. Okay, uh, so Egypt has become Shia. No, it says it's Sunni. Okay, so it's just Shia happening somewhere else. Okay, it's got nothing to do with me, so therefore I don't care. Your steward, Wally Hafiz, wants to talk about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is that they should be maintained better now that times are rough. You never know when you'll need to get out quickly. Um, what a splendid idea, Hafiz. That's clever. I'll think on this. This option is available due to your high intrigue skill. You don't trust Hafiz's intentions and decide to give him some faulty maps of the tunnel system. Yep. Oh, I see what you're doing. I'm not telling you anything. Uh, no, I'm going to trust him, uh, but in a deceitful way. I'm going to give him false maps. Therefore, he's going to like me a little bit more, but I still don't like and trust him. That didn't help his opinion that much, to be honest with you, did it? Right, uh, that reminds me as well. Uh, I thought I stood you guys down. I totally stood you guys down. Why 
Why did they rise up again? Right, my military should not be raised now, right? No, nothing is raised. Okay, that's fine. Um, also, we lost our retinue last time as well, but I don't know, because I was debating whether a paranoid person would want armed people around him or not anyway. I was already debating that. So... Yeah, I, I, I decided that I'm not going to raise any new retinues because I was already a bit iffy on that anyway. So, yeah, I'm not raising any new retinues, but I think it was legit for last time anyway. That's fine. Uh, yeah, sorry. These two, you... I need to find out where you are, right? Okay, you're, uh, you're there anyway. But where do you live? Moscow Forda, where is that? Where is Forda again? I can't remember. Pretty sure we found that it was it was there anyway. Right, okay, so you're not where I am. I'm in the capital here. As long as you're not in the capital, that's fine. Who's the other person? You. Uh you don't have any holdings at all, do you? You're just a member of my court. Yeah, you're just a member of my court, aren't you? So, yeah, okay, so you can... St oh, no, I, I wanted to split you two up, didn't I? Yeah, I don't want you being there. I want you two being separated, so you can go over there. I don't want you two together because I don't want people together doing anything. My liege, while well, Hafiz catches up with you as you are strolling down the main hall, he looks concerned and you order him to spit it out. Whatever the news is, the tunnels, my lord, he breathes and continues to yell to tell you that it seems somebody has been using them. Guards have stumbled upon tools and torches recently used by the looks of it. Didn't I give you false maps? I'm pretty sure I gave you false maps, right? This is a great opportunity for an ambush. You order more guards into the tunnel trying to catch someone. This is a disaster. Seal the tunnels. Uh, that makes more sense for someone who's paranoid. But making an ambush also works for someone who's paranoid, deceitful and cruel. But I don't trust you, do I? So... Would I give you troops? I don't think I would. I think I would be very much not willing to give you the means. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna seal the tunnels. I didn't become craven, but it wouldn't have really mattered if I did anyway, because I'm basically already living a craven lifestyle anyway. So it really wouldn't have made a difference to be honest with you, but never mind. Right, let's see. Uh, oh, there's a war. I need to check it's not for anywhere of mine. No. Are we... We're attacking. Yeah, we're attacking. Is that really a good idea? I don't think that that's a good idea. Why are we attacking you for this realm? This doesn't seem... So we're trying to get here, which is the capital of... Do you own something there then, I guess? No, that's a very confusing war. We're fighting this guy here for somewhere in the Seljuk territory but the Seljuks aren't involved. That's very bizarre. Okay, well, it's not for my realm or any of my lands. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. Right, I'm going to take a quick look 
and see if there's anyone now who we could marry that I like because that's something we still wanted to take a look at to see if that's anything that we wanted to do or not so I'm gonna go do that quickly I'll be right back with you so you can bear in mind like I said I need someone who's a, I have a very high opinion of I mean it's difficult I mean because yeah it's the, the character that I am it's very unlikely I'm going to find anyone I have such a strong opinion about because even my dad when his wife died um, no he didn't die he divorced her because she cheated on him right yeah um, we couldn't find someone for him and he wasn't paranoid so it's very unlikely I'm gonna find anyone with an opinion that high to be honest with you I mean I could invite someone to court and I think as long as I've got a high enough opinion of him high enough that it's going to survive me inviting them as well because for some reason you can really like someone and then as soon as you invite them to your court the opinion just plummets you know so it, it needs to be high enough that it will survive the invitation as well so I could hire someone and then marry them there see look 29 that's the highest I've found so far so I could do that and I might look at that in a sec but I mean that's also something we can do for just inviting people to fill positions anyway so I might also look at that for like council positions as well but there's um no guarantee that I'm going to find anyone because it's it's very rare to actually um, find someone that you have that high enough opinion of anyway let alone being paranoid so I'm, I'm not holding out much hope to be honest with you uh yeah I, oh 39 got a bit closer but it's not it's not going to be high enough I don't think I, I genuinely don't think I'm going to find anyone because it needs to be really high it needs to be like I would say for marriage it's got a clear 75 and it's very unlikely I'm going to find anyone on that no I don't think I'm going to find anyone there I'm going to see if there's anyone out in the world but again it's going to have to be high in order to actually invite them to court because as I said their, their, their opinion just plummets uh, your opinion of them plummets as soon as they join your court for some reason so yeah see look this is just it's it's very very unlikely that I'm gonna find anyone yeah it's it's basically say 33 so there's someone I like a bit more but that's the problem with, with, with paranoia as well, is it just makes it so that it's very unlikely you're actually going to find anyone that you trust. It's a very difficult trait to play. Not as difficult as um, the... Which, which one is it? Not insane. It's not insane, but basically the same thing. Uh, that trait is very very difficult to, to play because you kind of don't have a lot of decisions that make it so that you can do something absolutely crazy and mental nah see there's no one there I wonder what actually if there's actually anyone in the world that I like that much to be honest with you I, I, I have a feeling that there's probably not even going to be anyone that I like even that remotely, male or female. Now, uh, see, there's there's not going to be anyone I like enough to even just invite to the court to to fill out council positions. That's the thing. There's there's no one there. And bearing in mind the fact that we're already trying to kill off councillors, because I don't really want to surround myself with anyone. But yeah, 33 seems to be the highest. It's 
Yeah, there's there's not anyone. So uh, again, we're going to have to remain unmarried. Oh, oh, they've had a massive revolt next door. That could be very good because that could weaken them drastically and then that will cut a little bit of power down that could be very good if they break up into two separate kingdoms hopefully are they of equal strength 19 through 13 25 okay fairly even that could be very very good actually because I think if they're a little bit weaker then I don't feel as scared and intimidated by them as much also might give the Caliph a chance to try and get his realm back a little bit I mean he's lost his capital twice I doubt it because I think you're just going to continue to collapse, aren't you? Uh, I mean, you're doing okay at the moment, but if people start to decide to declare multiple wars again, like last time, you were in five or six wars all at once, and that's why we got our arse handed to us. But that's a big revolt. Hopefully, it might lead to something good. So we won that. That isn't what you said you were claiming for. Right, well, we've gained a little bit of territory. Well, I say we, the Abbasids. But you didn't make a claim for that. That's a very confusing war. Why am I being sieged? Am I, are we at war with these guys? No. Why am I being sieged? Is that going to clear now we took over? No. Who's sieging that then? Who sieged that? I'm not in any conflict. Is someone else? So the Seljuks have sieged that. Why? Who are you at war with? Right, okay, so I'm guessing you own something over here then, right? Yeah, okay. So you own that, and he's your liege, and they're at war with them. Right, okay, so it's not really anything to do with me. To be honest with you, I don't really care about that. Good luck with that. Uh, a well-dressed merchant has requested an audience. The man presents himself as Master Zuikind Ben Ari, a representative of the Jewish Radinate merchants, and implores we are seeking to set up an office in Esfahan, but lack the funds. If you would sponsor us, we would be eternally grateful. There is no way that a paranoid person is giving someone money, right? Not a chance in hell would I be giving you money. No. You're... Yeah, you're not... You're not... I don't even know who let you in here because you shouldn't have even been allowed in, to be honest with you. But, yeah, someone should be hanged for that. But yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not giving you money. Bugger off. That's not. That is not happening. There is no way that a paranoid person would give someone money. Uh, okay, I've got a new heir again. No, nope, there's nowhere near us. That's fine. Uh, another new heir. So my half brother died. Was murdered. Oh dear. So you. Are just a random kinsman of mine had my half brother murdered. That's not good. Especially if you're now the heir. 
That's going to make me really paranoid, right? Surely, surely, that would make me extremely paranoid. Maybe I should stop spying on him. You're almost... You're 53, okay, so you're not that old. I mean, your Crusader King's too old, but... So you're zero. Yeah, I definitely think that we need to prioritize him then. Okay, so I am... Um, how? I mean, the plot's still high enough. Why are we not... Can, will my friend support me? Not that she brings a lot of plot power, but will she support me anyway? Oh, we got a couple more people. Okay. But I don't like you enough that I would bring you in. My friend, you had 13%. That's not bad. I like you enough that I think I would trust you to come in. I don't like you enough that I would de that I would trust you. No way in hell would I trust you. Um, but yeah, this kid, he just killed my half-brother, and he's now the heir. That's got to make me paranoid, right? There is a crusade against our religion. Oh, dear. I mean, it's nothing to do with me, though. Australia is, like, all the way over here in Europe, so I don't really care. Yeah, I'm not getting involved in that. I don't I don't care. But that's the first crusade we've had against Islam in this playthrough, I think. I'm pretty sure the other crusade we had was against the Aztecs. That failed. Was there another one? There might have been another one in Europe, actually. I can't remember. Yeah, there was. There was one against Saxony, wasn't it? Oh, England's back! And Ireland! Are, are the Aztecs collapsing? I mean, they've only got 10,000 men. I'm guessing they've lost all their events spawned, right? Yeah, I reckon they've lost all their events spawned, which means they're collapsing. So, England's back on the map. We have a new King of England! King Cuthbert, the liberator of England. England's back. Ireland's back. King Falaman, the liberator of Ireland as well. Wow. Okay, Aztecs are collapsing. That's good because I was pretty sure that they were out for me. Aztecs collapsing. Mongols collapsing. Next door neighbors collapsing. Maybe things are turning around. It'd be really good if we were just a little bit safer, I think. Uh, Shakub bint Abu Bakr may not be the most attractive woman I have ever laid my eyes upon, but she is here and the whole situation is growing increasingly boring. Considering my options, it may not be a bad way to spend time. I don't think that you... Yeah, you're not... You don't like her that much. Do you have urges? I mean, you're shy. Yeah, you're shy. I don't. I don't think that you would do that. Yeah, I'm gonna say you can manage without romance for now because that that really doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you would do, being a shy person. Uh, you'd like to back a plot to fabricate a claim on the Emirate of Nefud. Uh, I don't like you. I Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, my opinion of you has dropped a lot as well. Uh, I don't like you that much either now. But this could be a trap, as I am a paranoid person. Would I want to? I don't think I would. I would say no but that is something that we now might want to look at as we don't like you 
that much anymore. We might want to look for independence. But the thing is, is I still don't think that we're going to be able to challenge you either. We could join your your one for independence, but that's just going to give you independence. But then that's just going to weaken him more, isn't it? You're a nobody as well. You, well, you bring more troops than I do at the moment, but I'm still don't think that that'll be enough. I don't know if we're there yet or not. We're definitely at the point where we might want to start thinking about So you bring another two and that guy brought four, right? No, you didn't bring anything. Where did all your troops go? Oh, there we go. Where they? Yeah. And then I would bring another three and a half, right? But then that's just going to be independence for you. That's not going to be independence for me, so... Increased council power. Do I care about that? I don't really care about that. I don't think I'm... Am I on your council? I can't remember if I'm on your council at all. Yeah, I'm the Grand Vizier. Okay, well, I... I'm definitely going to be a malcontent now. Because I don't like you enough. On paranoia rules anymore, where I would want to be a supporter of yours anymore so that's that's definitely something that we want to do um, I think that that's probably the extent that I want to do right now Yeah, I, I think that for the time being, as we're, we're not in dislike territory, we're in meh kind of territory. Like, I don't, I don't hate you, but I, I don't like you as much as I used to, which means that we probably shouldn't have been a malcontent, but uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I think it's only going to start going down from here, to be honest with you. Doesn't seem to be climbing. I mean, considering it was way up in like the 90s at one point, and now it's dropped right down to 21, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine on that front. So, okay. Uh, we've had this before. Uh, Afakia is an expert in fake, which is knowledge of legislative rulings pertaining to the actions of man, as derived from the detailed evidences. I've been asked if I would like to study with some of the best. In Khaybar, so that I may one day become one of the greatest jurists of the Islamic world. Um, I don't know if I'm the kind of guy that would do that. Deceitful and cruel would suggest that I would not do that. Patience suggests that I would. But I don't think I am a just kind of person. I'm the kind of person that likes to hurt people. I don't, or, 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 or you could look at it as I'm studying the law in order to get around the law. That's an option as well. If I know the law, it's easier to evade the laws. You know, Sol Goodman style. Oh. 
That's tricky, actually. So that, I'm not, I'm not smart enough to necessarily think that though, but deceitful would suggest that perhaps I would think that. Oh, I don't know what to do there now. Hmm. I... I'm not lazy. So the fact that it says an awful lot of work, I'm going to take that as... I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to look at that as a... I've studied the law in order to get around the law so now when i imprison people that way i can actually you know manufacture reasons to imprison people let's 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 just put it like that i i think that that's i think that that makes sense right i don't know Oh, right, another war's broken out, right. Uh, are either of you from my land? Because you never... You never tell me. Nope, you're fine. Nope, you're fine. Okay. Wait, are we actually... Okay. I don't fancy our chances in that battle because I'm pretty sure he's got... Yeah. I don't fancy your your odds in that war. Good luck, Caliph. Uh, not sure that that's going to be particularly going in our favour. Okay, you're sieging my lands, but there is nothing I can do against 23,000. So, yeah, they're just going to walk through our lands, unfortunately. There's not much that I can do about that, I'm afraid. The many Khans of the steppe have been rallied under the same banner. The leader that managed to unite them all is Aguchu. Okay, so it's we have a new Genghis Khan. So we have a second coming of a of, of a Genghis Khan. So they have they're gonna be looking to unite again. So the Mongols might actually be a power again. Yeah. Interesting. So there might be a second coming of the Mongols. That's fine. Uh, right. So yeah, this war finished. Oh, you did take land off of me. You bastards. You didn't tell me it was after my land. Oh, you son of a bitch. I didn't know that was going to be... You didn't... Oh, that is very, very annoying. I mean, the, again, the, there wasn't much I could have done about that anyway. Because they just had too many numbers. I just couldn't... That is really annoying. So, yeah, you can't... Um, Again, you can't keep us safe. That's 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 twice that I've lost land because you aren't able to defend us. Uh... We're in collapse. We are we are in free fall. I have a feeling that that's probably where the end of this uh, playthrough is going to come from. Is annihilation. Someone's going to like make claims for our entire emirate here and then just one more here and then we're pretty much done to be honest with you after that but yeah wars are starting to get weird so you said that you were after this one here but you ended up taking that one you said that you were after this one here but you ended up taking that That's very annoying. 
So yeah, more land that we've lost now, which means that we've also become weaker as well. Yeah, wow. Remember the days when we had like nearly nine, ten thousand troops? Those were good times, weren't they? Uh, I remember those days. <sighs> yeah, I know that uh, the problem is is having the domain size as well. Is that's what's killing us, but. I mean, at this rate, we might come back down to domain size because people are taking them all from us. Okay, so you formed an alliance. That might be for the best because at least that way. I mean, he's not really bringing a lot, is he? And he just died. <laughs> oh, you can't catch a break, can you? Wow, okay. Uh, right, you've finally become an expert in Islamic jurisprudence. My knowledge of the Quran, the Sunni Ijma, and Gaiz is what makes me a faqi, and I will use that knowledge to be a better emir and ruler for my people. No, that wasn't the plan. I am proud to have become it. I will use the knowledge, but not for the title. Yeah, that makes more sense. You are planning on becoming a bit of an asshole with it rather than being proud of it. Pride isn't a, uh, a trait of ours either. So, yeah, okay, yep, I will use the knowledge, but not for the title. That's, uh, that's not what we are planning to do. We're planning to be a bit of an asshole with it. Right, okay, so we're being sieged down here as well. Again, I can't I can't stand up to that. So you actually declared your independence, okay. You kicked that off. Good luck with that. Uh but yeah, I can't I can't defend against that. There's even more there as well. That's the problem as well, is marching all the way across these lands is getting picked off by other forces which is what happened when we were fighting the Seljuks last time as well they all of the other wars like the what was it four or five other wars that the Abbasid the Caliph was involved in all of those troops is what actually ended up draining most of our manpower but the, yeah there's nothing I can do about that there's there's yeah there's, we're just going to have to hope that I mean they're going to win probably what wait I've got raiders okay I can do something about that at least uh, so I don't want to raise them all up I don't really need to how much can I raise by myself uh only 539. Wow, okay. I thought I'd be able to raise up more than that. Damn, which means I'm probably going to have to raise my vassals. Or I could buy mercenaries. If I hire mercenaries... And get them to do the dirty work... I think that that's fine, isn't it? I've got enough money. All the cheap big ones have all been hired out, though, unfortunately. So it's all the... It's either the ones that are at low strength or the massive ones, which I don't really need. Uh, 636, I mean... That might be enough, but the problem is, is they're going to have defensive bonus and it's going to be a crossing. So that's going to give them a massive defensive bonus. So I don't think 636 is going to be enough. But then like 2,000 odd is too many. I don't really have much choice though, do I? So that's 240, or I can raise my vassal levies. Which is going to pee a lot of people off. But do I really care about that? What's my court looking like at the moment anyway? Okay, so there's quite a few people that really don't like us. 
What's the vassals doing? None of my vassals like me. <laughs> We've had that quite a few times now, unfortunately. Uh, with the vassals hating us. The last three rulers have been pretty crappy rulers and they've all been disliked by their vassals. Uh, you know what? I think I am... But then I'm not greedy, am I? I don't have a problem spending money. Okay, yeah, okay, the Berber Company. We will uh, raise you up. I'm going to march you to here to begin with because I want to make sure that your um, morale ticks up. So, yeah, hopefully this place can hold on long enough until you get there. I, I have a feeling, okay, your morale is going to be fine. And there's more revolts rising up in our land. Ah, uh, yeah, it's all of our bloody stuff that gets hit all the time. But that's because we make up the majority of the actual Abbasids. That's the problem. So we're a big enough target that these people, right, you're fine. This place has held on. So that's good. We should be able to put this down easily enough now. I don't want to keep these guys up any longer than we need to. Uh, right, where are you going now? You're going to Bahrain so we can follow you. Hopefully wipe you out. I'm guessing you're just coming around to here, right? Yeah. Just get rid of them so that they don't rise up anymore. Right, where did you go? Right, but you're still moving. You're going to Nizwa. Okay, so we should be able to catch you there. Hopefully, are we going to? No, okay. Not in time. Right. Right, that's cool. I think that they're probably not going to come back for us anymore. Uh, are you guys still sieging me? Yeah. Uh, so we can come around here. Uh, the trade route from Bahrain is in dire need of a new ship and equipment to be able to continue bringing in goods to our realm. I need to keep this trade route running. It's too expensive. Again, nothing in me that would suggest I wouldn't do this. I don't have a problem spending money. That's not something I worry about. Okay, so, yep, keep bringing the ships in. Um, you're coming back round to deal with this, and then I'll disband you. Uh, what is going on with... It's at 94. It's not growing at all, is it? But the problem is, it's because I don't have a spy master, do I? I don't think that's going anywhere. So we'll get rid of that one. Who's my heir, right? You've now come of age. So you are dangerous. And I also have that guy who's a threat that I want to get rid of him as well. Do you have an heir? You do have an heir now. Damn. Hmm. Which one is... Uh, oh, my steward died. That's good. That's one more gone. Uh, I don't think I'm going to spy on you anymore. I think... I want to start spying on you instead. Let that tick over. Should be an option now. Yeah, spy on Ali. Because, um, like I said, you killed my last heir. So that suggests that you don't have a problem with killing people to get to the top, which I would obviously think about. Uh, how much is the power to do? That's probably not very high at all. 70, it's not terrible. Uh... I 
I like you well enough that I would invite you. Anyone else? No, I'd need to pay you money. There's no way I'm going to trust you enough with that. I don't like you enough that I would invite you to do it, even though you said you would. I don't like you enough that would suggest that I would trust you enough to do that. I don't think she's going to bring... She only brings 16%, right? She's not going to bring enough to that to get it going. No. Hmm... I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe something will happen from the spying that will give us a little bit more strength with regards to that. Maybe I can kidnap him again. That's also an option. That happened with the last guy of Esfahan. I actually got to kidnap him, which helped, what didn't it? But whether that's going to happen again or not, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there's a, there's a few people I need to get rid of, but at least the steward has gone that's a uh, that's another position that we don't need to worry about right now I'm pretty sure you're 58 and 58 hopefully you two don't have much longer for the world I know it seems very strange that I'm, uh, I'm hoping that people die from my council which obviously makes the game worse and harder for me but I mean a paranoid person would want them to die right Ah! Ha 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 And that is exactly, exactly what I was afraid of as well. He is trying to kill me. <laughs> I knew, I knew you were going to do that. And now, now, I can, uh, I can arrest him. Boom, that gives me the opportunity to arrest him. Uh, because I knew that he was going to try to do that. So predictable, you idiot. Uh, how much is it going to be to try and arrest him? 33. Right, he can't raise anything here because it's been sieged, right? So it's only going to be there. I've got 2.3 there already. I might wait for this battle to finish. Before I try to arrest him. Because then... At least I'll... He can't... But if he jumps in there, he'll be against the revolters as well, right? Screw it. Wait for it to finish anyway, and then it's not going to be long. There we go. All done and dusted. That's fine. And now you, I am going to try and imprison you. Of course, you are going to raise up in rebellion. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay, because we're just going to go and siege your capital straight away. 1600. Should be able to deal with that quite easily. And then I get him in prison, which is good. Um, yeah, I know. You've already done this you um, you want to give me the trait again aren't you I'm just going to say no this time I, d I don't want to do that right you go in there you siege that down once that siege down we should be able to get him in prison now that's going to give me a new heir again I don't know it's going to be your son right yeah probably I don't know if I have an older uncle or brother or something like that. Uh, I don't have a brother, sorry. Uh, an older uncle or someone. Oh, I do have a brother. My half-brother. Would you become... Or would it go straight to his son? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to have a new heir because I'm going to put him in prison and I'm he's going to die in my prison because... That's what I do, you know. I'm going to be able to siege more than he is. So I think, there we go. Yep, yeah, that's 100%. 
offer peace, enforce my demands, and now you're in prison. Uh, so, yeah, you are now in my dungeon, and that means that I probably want to start hurting you a little bit. But I think I'm probably going to wait to do that until next time, I think. I think that this is probably where I'm going to call it for today. Um... So, next time I think it's going to be hurting him in the dungeon, trying to find out if we have a new heir or something like that as well. Who that new heir is going to be, and seeing if we're actually going to be able to survive the, the big onslaughts to come. Hopefully the Abbasids can recover a little bit, although I think that we might be moving towards a situation where we might want independence, but we will have to wait and see about that. I want to thank you for joining me today and I certainly hope that you join me again next time but until then I bid you all adieu a good day and a massive GG to you all This has been a Rich Tea Entertainment production If you like this episode please like and subscribe If you wish to see some more videos, please click down below.